this is going to be the uh, ice emerger PMD style or some ice emerger what I've done already is I've already got a hook in here which is a straight eye hook either a TMC 101 or this one here which is an Orvis or a Daiichi hook which is the big eye hook I prefer these they have a little shorter shank with a wider gap um, kind of look real nice on RS2's and these type of patterns so all I did was split the tails already and you can find that in an RS2 video that I have if you want to learn how to split those tails but I just split those tails put a little bit of a thread base with the brown um, dubbing and again real simple fly it's uh, kind of a cross between an RS2 and a floating nymph um, I'm using hairline chocolate brown dubbing you can use um, a dry fly dubbing I like it to be a little spiky a little bit um, uh, a little more robust I guess you can say um, and this this thread here or this dubbing helps to achieve that so all I'm going to do is start with my rabbit dubbing brown rabbit dubbing and build up a body tapered body like you would the RS2 and like I said this is a little bit more uh, a little thicker with this rabbit dubbing than you would with like a super fine but you can also dub it real fine and uh, it just shows up a little bit more with those guard hairs. Now, build your dubbing uh, taper with the brown, and then I'm using something like an ice dub or a light bright and a yellow. Depends on what color you want, yellow, uh, light yellow or a, a little darker yellow. Um, this one actually is um, Spirit River a Diamond Bright, which is light olive. Actually looks more um, yellow to me, so what I do on this series is I put in a strand of that dubbing whether it be ice dub or whatever about a half inch long and on there pretty pretty tight um, leave a little bit of space here behind the eye and I notice I have a little bit of thread there and I just kinda eat that thread up until I'm right on top of the hook shank with my dubbing and my wound on there I grab my fingers and just kind of slide that down almost smashing it right up on top of the hook shank and with that down like that I come around at least one time around the hook shank and snug it up a little bit and then bring it down downward what you don't want to do and I did there because I looked at it was let that ball roll around so you want it right up on top and then once you have it on top just kind of wedge it in there almost so that it is placed right up on top so I put a few X wraps in there just to kind of anchor it down now come back with your rabbit dubbing your chocolate dubbing put a little more on your thread come behind a little space there so come in there and just kind of wedge it okay this is not a perfect looking fly and that's kind of what I was going for was you know you can make it look nice but uh, what I was going for was just a, a nymph that suggests the emergence of the nymph out of the shuck and with that yellow or even with a um, a gray or something for a, a betis uh, that's what I was going for so what you want to do is just have it right up on top just place it right there so you have your split tails you have kind of a messy um, body and then a little bit of that yellow right up on top for PMD like I said if you go with betis you can go with all um, an olive or something like that to uh, to suggest the the bluing all of it. so it is pretty messy it works great it uh, again super selective fish sometimes uh, turn down maybe a pheasant tail or something like that but if you show them with something with a little spot a little flash or something on top they might take that uh, I know there's been a few times where I've had those selective fish looking at um, eating those emerging nymphs and uh, put this in front of them and they didn't hesitate to take it so it's uh, it's a fun pattern it's a great little pattern very simple um, just a couple of materials and, and it works great.